Welcome to DVB English News. I am So Min Ting. Military conscription was announced by the regime in Nepal on February 10, but it won't be enacted until mid-April after the Tianjin of Myanmar New Year festival. Nangano Sima Ochoyi Kaunsi Di Pidu Simuda Ubri Anati Di Niya Tamache Ame Chonya Sama. The law stipulates that men aged 18 to 35 and women aged 18 to 27 must serve five years in an emergency, which Myanmar has been under since February 2021. This is when the military ousted the National League for Democracy government and jailed State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi and President Wen Mie. Specialists like doctors up to age 45 are to serve for three years. Anyone caught avoiding conscription could face a punishment of up to five years in prison. In response to this, thousands lined up outside the Thai embassy in Django, hoping to get visa to leave Myanmar. In Mandalay, two women were killed and many were injured in a crowd crash as they lined up outside of a passport office. Media reports have stated that all passport appointments have been booked until August. Thailand's foreign ministry said that its embassy in Yangon has doubled the number of visa applications from 400 to meet the demand. Visa applications at the Thai embassy are fully booked until March 1st. More than 7,000 Myanmar citizens have already applied for visa to Thailand. <laughs> Prime Minister Sarita Tavisin have warned all Myanmar people to come to Thailand legally or face charges. Thai member of Parliament Kanavi Susem wants Thailand to adopt a contingency plan to assist those avoiding conscription in Myanmar. The Thai opposition MP added that allowing refugees to work good health would leave us shortages. Nearly 2.3 million migrants from Myanmar work legally in Thailand, according to Econ Thai. Security sources along the Thai border say that Myanmar citizens are being detained for illegal entry on a daily basis. During a visit to the border last week, Thailand's defense minister said that the situation is under control. Oh.